हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर फार्मा कैन चैनल यू कैन सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस बेल आइकॉन ऑन द यूट्यूब टू गेट द लेटेस्ट वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द फार्मेसी एंड केमिस्ट्री सब्जेक्ट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एस ए आर ऑफ सल्फोनेमाइड और वी कैन से स्ट्रक्चरल एक्टिविटी रिलेशनशिप ऑफ सल्फोनेमाइड माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मेहुल पटेल फ्रॉम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट रमन भाई पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी चरोदर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी As you know that the sulfonamide is a important antibacterial derivatives. So, to understand the structural activity relationship, first we will start the understanding of basic structure of sulfonamide. So, in the basic structure of sulfonamide, you can see there is an aromatic ring, the amino group, and sulfonamide group sulfonamide group of the sulf amido group now this sulf amido group is you can see there is a substituted so that's why it is called as a n substituted sulfonamide okay and there is a primary amide so when we break this structure then we can say that this one is the substituted sulfonamide this one is the benzene and this one is the four amino so that's why the name of this derivatives are four amino and substituted benzene sulfonamide so this one is the basic structure that you need to remember to understand the structural activity relationship now come to the structural activity relationship now you just understand the basic of structural activity relationship it is a in short it is we can say it is a qualitative terms which can describe the effect of various substitution on the parent moiety regarding the biological activity so there are many derivative were synthesized by the different scientist and on the basis of that different derivatives on the basis of that data it come to know that the which part is important for the biological activity which part is important for the potency of this compound so this one is the basic structure when the synthesis of large number of sulfonamide analog lead to the following conclusion now on the basis of this conclusion we can divide the entire structure into the three parts the first one is primary amino group or we can say para amino group second aromatic ring and the third is the so2 ns2 group that we call as a substituted so2 ns2 group okay so this is the basic part for the understanding we divide the entire structure into these three parts now the modification of this part result into the various effect on the biological activity so let's discuss which part is important and which is responsible for the biological activity so the first point the para amino group so in that case is in all the sulfonamides the primary amino or the para amino group is essential for the biological activity and it cannot be substituted it must remain unsubstituted if there is any substitution it result into the lack of activity or result into the pro drug now the exception is when the n substituted with acyl means it generate the amide bond now this amide themselves are inactive but can be metabolized in the body to regenerate the active compounds so this amide can be used as a sulfonamide pro drug okay so it is itself in a inactive form but when it convert into the active metabolite it produce its biological activity so to get a better antibacterial effect as a active compound the primary amino group is essential okay now how this pro drug work suppose take this example here there is a nhco linkage by the substitution of amino group okay in the body with the help of the enzymatic hydrolysis it convert into the active sulfonamides so there are many drugs which are follow this kind of the thing 
as for example sulfasalazine thallyl sulfathiazole succinyl sulfathiazole so these all are the poorly absorbed molecule and they enter into the intestine where it convert into the active form okay so in the case of this structure the para amino or the primary amino group is essential now come to the second point that is the aromatic ring in the aromatic ring the ring and the sulfamido functional group are both important so this both the group must be attached to the aromatic ring sulfamide group and amino group okay the so2 nh2 group must be directly linked to the benzene ring so it is essential it cannot be possible that so2 nh2 group is linked to the benzene ring by some another functional group direct attachment of so2 nh2 group is essential for the activity and the important point the aromatic ring must be para substituted so we cannot do the substitution of any functional group in the ortho and meta position the only amino group at the para position so this is a essential part now next the substitution on so2 nh2 group so in that case is the sulf amido nitrogen must be primary or secondary for getting the better biological activity or antimacterial activity if r is the only possible site that can be varied in the sulfonamide and this is also important because it having the variable effect on the antibacterial activity as for example if r is a electron withdrawing group then it improve the ionizability of nh and thereby increase the solubility and activity so this r is the only possible change in the various sulfonamides and this is also important to get the better activity of the compound better solubility of the compound so the best way of this modification is the addition of or the incorporation of the heterocyclic ring at this position uh, this is also beneficial in the main side effect of the sulfonamide derivative that is crystal urea so if we maintain the pk value then it would be helpful to decrease the side effect okay and the last point if we replace so2 nh2 by co nh or so3 h it reduce the antimicrobial activity so now it's easy to understand that sulfamido nitrogen must be primary or secondary the only side which is we can do changes is the n1 this n1 can be changed by incorporation of heterocyclic ring or any other electron withdrawing group so which can increase the solubility as well as the activity and it, we cannot replace the so2 nh2 group by co nh or so3 h it's result into the less active compound i hope you are clear with these three points the primary amino group aromatic ring and the substitution on so2 nh2 group now we can just summarize this activity this one is the basic structure of sulf amino derivatives the aromatic ring must be para substituted as i told you that the first and important requirements then the para amino group is essential for activity must be unsubstituted means primary amino it should not be substituted and if it is substituted must be metabolized back to the primary amine as per example prontosil thallyl sulfathiazole succinyl sulfathiazole etc the so2 nh2 group must be directly linked to the benzene ring this one is the essential part then the substitution at 
सल्फमिडो नाइट्रोजन सो सल्फोनेमाइड नाइट्रोजन मस्ट बी प्राइमरी और सेकेंडरी If R is electron with withdrawing group, it improves the ionizability of NH and thereby solubility and activity. Substitution with heterocyclic ring as at N1 have variable effect. And last, the replacement of SO2 NH2 by CO NH or SO3 H reduces antimicrobial activity. So, these are the certain some examples in which you can correlate the structural changes so in the sulfa pyridine there is a pyridine ring at the instead of r r is here the pyridine in the case of the sulfa doxine there is a diazine ring with the dimethoxy group and this one is the sulfa diazine same way the sulfa methoxazole in which oxygen and nitrogen or we can say oxazole ring so this one is the substituted methyl oxazole ring the name of the compound is the sulfa methoxazole then sulfa methoxine where again there is a diazine ring the the difference between the sulfa doxine and sulfa methoxine is only the position of the methoxy group and this one is the thiol sulfa thiazole so this one act as a pro drug because here there is a amide linkage the primary amino is substituted but it is substituted in a form where the amide bond is formed so this is undergone the enzymatic hydrolysis and result into the active sulfa thiazole mom so in you can see the most of the sulfa drug are substituted at n1 position or the so2 nh2 site so this site can provide the better activity thank you thank you so much for listening me please like and share our channel subscribe it and don't forget to push a bell icon to get the latest informative video regarding our pharmacy and chemistry subject thank you